Hey y'all and good morning. The boys and I are out here. We're gonna cut some flowers from these wildflowers right here by the house. Oh, they have turned out to be so beautiful. I'm so glad that we planted these here. Huddy made a bouquet and took it over to my mom a few days ago and I asked the boys if they'd come out here and cut one for our house. So that's what we're gonna do. Audrey helped me clean and reorganize all of our uh, countertops and it feels so good here in the kitchen just to have all of this clean. We took some of the stuff off the counters and put it in cabinets and just it allowed us for more counter space and everything is just clean and smells nice and it, it feels really good. I appreciate her so much for helping me. We have this new diffuser going, and yes, baby, <laughs> baby safe essential oils, essential oils that I feel comfortable using. But this is from Inno Gear, and you can turn it on. You can set a timer for an hour, three hours, or six hours. You can turn the light on or off. I'm gonna be sure to show you a clip of this tonight when, um, when it's dark, so you can see the lights. And I'm really happy with this. It looks so beautiful sitting over here and the whole kitchen just smells nice and clean and fresh. Essential oils can be very beneficial for so many things from stress relief to sleeping better to clearing congestion. 
I used to use essential oils all the time and I haven't as much recently. I think the diffuser that I used to have broke maybe when we were moving out of the rental house. Maybe even been before that and I had never replaced it. I was looking for one that had good reviews, that I liked the way it looked, that it worked well. And so I'm happy that I found this one and we can get back into using essential oils again. So I will leave a link for this down in the description box in case it's something that you might be interested in too. I'm gonna sprout some lentils for the chickens and I'm actually gonna do a whole separate video on that, I think. But let me just, let me show you a little bit of it today. I've decided for dinner tonight we're gonna have a complete farm to table type meal I'm going to do fried potatoes we're going to saute squash and zucchini I'm gonna boil some eggs the only thing that would have made it better would be if I had thought about this a little bit earlier and started some of our whole chickens from the freezer roasting but I didn't think about it so we're gonna have an all veggie meal which I appreciate from time to time I used to have that often growing up, especially if Mama was cooking. So I like to have those all all veggie meals. I am gonna make some box macaroni because I know that the the boys will appreciate it. So I'm gonna add that in. We're gonna probably um, get a cucumber from the garden, maybe an onion from the garden, and I'm also going to make some cornbread. It will be homemade from scratch cornbread, but. I don't have a milk cow and I don't currently grind, um, make my own cornmeal. So there's that, but everything else down to the seasonings, the herbs and things that I'm gonna use will be from right here. obviously not um, homemade <laughs> but we obviously like it because we buy it in a big old jug but I'm going to add some of this more to my squash and zucchini because I just found it adds a lot of really good flavor.
So here's a question for you. Do you turn out your cornbread or do you just cut it out of the pan that you bake it in? I grew up seeing cornbread always turned out of the cast iron skillet, so that's what I do. But I was curious as to how you serve cornbread.